Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Corrupted, an auto-battling roguelike deck builder that I am very excited to be checking out the demo for here today. With a genre combo like that, it should be right up my alley, but we shall see. A demo means it is obviously very early on. Everything's very subject to change. So let us see what we can do. Paladin's Hangar, located in the city of, Cl of Clard. In a card game, Clard. What's taking everyone so long? All good to go. You ready, old man? Watch your language, kid. I still got it. HQ just sent us coordinates to an unidentified spacecraft. They want us to get started right away. Is T-Bone coming or what? He'll be a... Uh, he'll catch up. He's got his own way of doing things. Now, shall we? I'm driving. Uh, hold on. The only thing I could think the entire time that was going on is... There's a bear here with a tiny little hat and a tiny little dog with a big little gun. There's a beagle with a turret on its back. And also, yeah, a giant bear. I Can I please swap my squad? It seems like I can't change anything right now uh, for this first run or whatever. Purple. <laughs> you look quite different here, purple. All right. Uh, Commander, we've located our target. That's correct. They match our coordinates. Giant abandoned ship lies ahead. The insides crashed of the crash vehicle look like nothing like it's an exterior. You and your squad are required to get inside to proceed with your mission. Get three random normal cards, a random normal plug-in, which I'm going to assume is like a, uh, a artifact of some kind, a trinket. Two random materials items. I don't know. So let, let's go with a, a plug-in. I don't know. A, a passive effect, maybe, hopefully. Yeah, it seems like it. Okay. All squad mate power goes up by 35 uh, when the battle begins, the last two rows are inflicted with stun. Or attack and power increased by 50 per fallen squad mate. I think let's just, you know, it's a, maybe is it boring? Sure. But let's just go with damage across the board. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Disgusting. What are these things? Looks like most of them have been infected by something. Should have known when they started sending everyone here. Never seen anything like them before. Heads up, they're headed this way. Browse every character's stats and skill info before their deployment. Choose their deployment location before the battle. Uh, you can left-click to drag, right-click to browse the info. Right-click on enemies to browse their info as well. Variations exist within every type of enemy. And there can be different effects on your stage. All right. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. So we got, like, some uh, typical auto battle stuff going on there. We've got uh, Rampage. Looks like maybe our tank. Rampage goes in Tomahawk mode for 14 seconds. Every transformation adds two Rage cards to the deck. You can't gain SP during the duration. Uh, SP being what? Like super, super power? Speed? No, that's attack speed. I'm assuming it's like whatever this is, is SP. Like your, you know, typical auto battle or auto chess, you know, our power before we can cast it. Like our mana in like a team fight tactics. Uh... Deal electrical damage to the target and all enemies within one tile. Okay, so you're kind of our standard DPS, and I'm going to guess, yeah, you are our healer. Okay, good to know. Catch up. <laughs> so, here's the thing. Like, there's also some barricades here. Are we better off, like, being far away and making you come to me? You know? Maybe. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. It's the first battle, so we'll do it as a trial run. We'll run ourselves, like, far away and see what happens. Do we get to attack before them? Because I have a gun. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we got cards. Produce a healing field in the chosen location that lasts for six seconds. Healing 131 per second. Uh, okay. Recovers 250 of the selected squad mate's HP. Uh, 720 damage? Oh, it's an X cost. Produce depleted cards... To replace the discarded ones. To replace discarded ones. Interesting. Uh, Rampage does 500 damage and heals 20% of that damage. Okay, I mean, like, I'll put down the recovery field, I guess, for now. And then what is this? 436 damage and inf stuns and inflicts electrocute. So this, yeah, so this is an X cost, so it goes up in uh, in value over time. What the hell are you doing? I should have checked your ability. 
There's a lot going on. You can't blame me. I mean, you can, but like, don't, please. It seems like there's a, a surprising amount. Ooh, a surprising amount of delay between casting the ability and it coming out. He's gonna move out of this. Yeah. It's okay. We got one energy. It slowly comes back over time over there. Okay. Also missing translation. I have no idea what they do. That's terrifying. Credits at a card. Uh, bird shot. Available only during shotgun mode. Do I have it? Oh, is it shotgun mode or tomahawk mode? Is that what's going on? Uh, fire damage and to the target and one tile spread behind it. Inflict blind on those targets, which reduces their skill range. Fire damage? I don't know if I have that much fire damage. I don't think I have any. Taser does electric damage. Fuse gains power. That does electric damage. Yeah, we, we mostly do electric damage. How do I close out of this here? Escape? Okay. So this is a passive. What's what's up with this? Energy acceleration up by 5% when energy is lower than 3. So that goes... Does that go in my deck? Even though it's a... Oops. Even though it's a passive? It does. All right. Obtained a 3D printer item. Okay. Supplies from HQ have arrived. Let's see what they've got. Some of those seem to be from Hakan. I think we should rest up and get ready. Energy... I mean, hey, I've learned this at this point. Okay, well, it also says which character skill, current deck composition, types of cards. There's active, passive, and quest. This also explains a lot. Uh, you know, because a lot of times with tr translation uh, that has, like, the empties and everything like that, it's just, you know it hasn't been quite finished but it's a demo so the game's unfinished hopefully the uh, translation will be fixed up patched up uh, and those empties will be filled number of owned cards uh marked space of yeah i mean hey this all makes sense okay so what do we have here though copy a chosen item drag it onto the item you like to copy i don't think i have another item unless i can copy this no okay all right uh, revive groggy squad mates. Call in a space merchant with a resource I don't have. Or move on. I think we just move on then, right? Use. Quite different here. My guy. Uh, obtain a random plugin, but destroy one piece of gear. Deactivate current equipment this battle. I mean, I, I guess I'm fine with that. If the gear is just this... This seems like a net gain, doesn't it? Like a big net gain? If we get a rare? Is this a rare? I'll take your word for it. Power for gunners up by 20%, 40%. I'm assuming it's like per which one you have. Squad mates without nearby squad mates gain... 20% of their max HP in block. Seems useful, especially because I'm not exactly sure if I have a gunner. I would assume Fuse is a gunner, but I don't I don't actually know. It is unclear to me. So just just because he could, like, he could be a sharpshooter, I don't think he's a sharpshooter. I would assume he is a gunner, but like again, I'd have to I just have to guess if I was gonna do that. Yeah, you are a gunner. That's okay. We also seemingly lost nothing, so... We also got something else going on here. Target on this tile loses 50% defense. I guess, I guess if you can pierce, you should go back here. And we want our healer just back as far as possible. So what do you do? Goes berserk and recovers health for three seconds when you fill up your meter. You look like you would explode. Self-destruct, yes. Still nothing to do with this item until we, I guess, assume... I assume until I get another one. Uh, I was hoping you'd move up one. Okay, axe spin. So this heals a bit. 
Okay, hold on. I'm gonna wait for you to be missing a little bit more health. Like, I know I see that coming up here. Just trying to be optimal. Okay. Womp, 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 womp. Holy crap, that did so much, though. Wait, what? Like, I understand that it's a bomb and it was going to do a lot, but that is um, even more than I thought. Travel to the chosen location, dealing damage and inflicting stun and a knockback. Interesting. But the, here's the issue. You can't move units. Like, I can't move you. That's the big problem here. So there's nothing I could have done to save you? And you're actually just gone? What? Uh, attack speed up by 40% and add 40 extra electrical damage on basic attacks. Sure. That sounds pretty good. Are you gone? Forever? Because that bomb? Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I couldn't... There's nothing I could do to target them. I didn't get the other ability. I guess I needed to move this guy back. So am I really supposed to... I have to spend this. I only have three revives. Oh my god, dude. Okay, okay. Here's what I'm going to do for science. I don't love it, but this is what I'm going to do for science. I'm going to move on to see if she comes back with like half or something. <laughs> don't remind me. But we'll see, we'll see what we can do. What do we got here? A plug-in. Inflict stun on one enemy with the highest HP for four seconds. Uh, stun disappears once the user loses 40% or more HP. I'm assuming, like, right, what, right away? Or just like a, another power up across the board sounds pretty useful. Amplification antenna. Okay, so we got another item. Explosive damage deals additional damage equal to 6% of their max HP. Sh should I take another axe spin? I wouldn't hate another axe spin. Starting SP. Oh, shoot. It doesn't have a combination with this. Oh, shoot. I guess I'll just... I'll put it on both for now, I suppose. I don't want to put two component parts. So we, we've got some of that, like, actual teamfight tactics -y sort of stuff going on. She's not back, but I also haven't done a fight. I, I'm going to push it. I'm going to push it. I hate it. I hate it, but I want to know. Because I don't want to waste a revive on only one if we maybe need to revive two or three if that's allowed. I don't know. Uh, common choice effect. Enemies grow stronger as you get closer to the center. One rare plug-in. Two random legendary cards. One random combined item. Combined item. So spend item is probably one that needs to be combined, and this is an item that has already been combined. Here's what I'm wondering, though. What does this mean? Closer to the center? Or closer, you know, is... Seems unclear to me what exactly that means. I think... If it just means the enemies get stronger the closer you are to the end of the run, sure, duh. But that doesn't feel like... Why would that even tell me that? So that must mean something else. I'm assuming, like, this option is probably the best, right? And Thus, it's going to get really tough. Let's just pick... Let's, but if it means the middle, this is so annoying. I don't know. I don't know. One plug in and two random spend items. This feels good anyways, so I'll just I'll do it regardless. Elite battle, I don't know. 
We can max out squad mate power. All squad mate attack goes up by 35. That seems good. So I guess power and attack are different. Maybe power is like spell power. Get two random material items. Oh, okay. So these... This is something else. Don't get a card reward for the current battle. Add three wastes to your deck at the beginning of battle. That's fine. Get two skill books. Two... Gain... Two skill books. Ten starting SP. Twice. Okay, this is better. Deactivate your current equipment. I couldn't care less. My equipment sucks right now. Oh, we get it immediately, eh? Obtain a random legendary card for the chosen squad mate. This is a legendary card? In melee mode, deals 300 damage piercing to the target and executes if they have less than 25% HP, recovering 350 to the user. Sure. I mean, I'm going to give you armor. That's for sure. I wish I could read the rest of that card. It, does, it feels like it's not full. That sure as hell didn't look like it changed your starting SP. Alright. Uh, target on the tile gains stealth. Disables targeting on stealthy units. No. Gain 100 more SP. That seems useful. Oh my god, this looks chaotic. Level 2 pilot. You have the berserk. You have a saw blade. Uh, straight line dealing. Okay, well, if it's in a straight line, we can't have you by each other like that. Deals damage to the target. Executes targets with less than 20% HP. Oof. Fuse gains power plus 45 for the first 20 seconds of battle. Seems very useful. I think we just have to go for it. Do you, are you going to stand still? I hope you do. Well, uh-oh. We'll drag that. You're going to be taking a hefty help and a damage, and we're going to go for our AoE pretty quickly there. And we're going to want to wait for your HP to go down again a little bit more. Another hefty help in a bit. Okay, we got another one. Another one. I can't use it because he's occupied. Oh, my word. Keep it going. So when we don't have the other character, we don't draw her cards. It's almost working out for the better, if I'm going to be honest. But she totally does did not come back. Because if we don't have her, we just keep drawing his uh, his axe spin attack, which, if I'm going to be real, seemed a bit better. Rampage recovers 5% of lost HP every time a Rampage card is used. Sure. I'm not entirely, like, it's not fully clear to me how the, um, the passives truly work. I don't know if they're taking, I'm, I'm going to revive since apparently she's not coming back, even though it did seem a little bit easier without her. I don't know if it's taking up a card draw or something. Like, I don't know what's up with that. Get a combined item. Get five instability tiles in squad base during the current battle. I don't know what an instability tile is. I'm assuming it's just something with, like, bonus damage taken or less SP or something. Squad mates can't gain SP during the current battle. I mean, that seems nuts. Energy acceleration min minus 50. That really should be on the same line. Minus 50 during the current battle. Add five waste. But you get three material items. This is interesting. There there's a lot of like, like a lot of polish. Definitely some translation. There's so much stuff to clean up. But the core concept and the core flow of this, like this, a lot of the decisions are really nice. Um, but yeah, there's like a little bit of rig like rigidness 
but it kind of that always comes with auto battling. But the fact that there are like spaces which you get benefits for standing on, but then your characters just will move out of them super easily feels kind of silly. These are both rough. So basically, do I want to never gain my abilities? I think I'm going to do that. You can also see what a combine item is. I'm assuming it's a full item. Sure, it looked like it. When battle begins, inflict overload on the first three rows of enemies. Can't gain SP. Gives attack and defense. Okay, yeah, so instability is definitely what I thought it was, but also, yikes. I'll say... How much attack speed do you have? One attack per second. You both have one attack per second, so... It's more or less the same there, but... I, I really want to get that extra armor. I feel like that's going to be a little, a little bit more useful. You back the hell up. We have the saw blade. Oh, we have the saw blade people. Maybe that's going to... Maybe that's fine. hate that there's the Sawblade people. We could do our big laser attack. There's lots of this. Well, we're not getting... Okay, I'll tell you what. We're not getting SP anyway, so we can put anybody anywhere. If we don't gain that regardless, it more or less doesn't matter. I think this is... I think this is fine. We'll try and do it. We have a Parasite Egg, too, which I can only imagine we need to uh, kill pretty quickly down the healing air area of effect. Okay, hold on. We're hitting a lot with this. Let's go for it. Oh, that was very useful. Do we need this? If we're going to hit both of these, I'm, I'm down with it. Speed up attack. What are you doing up there? So you're not in axe mode. So why am I not drawing cards, by the way? Is it because I'm full? Let's stun you. Yeah, it seems like it's because I'm full here. Well, you get rid of the depleted. But yeah, the, the, the play effect is really slow. Like, grabbing it, dragging it here, waiting for it to activate. I know it doesn't seem like that big of a deal that but when you're casting like a lot of cards in a row like that it kind of is it's a, kind of a really big deal does this put me in melee mode one ultra core item 19 credits get a card electrical damage up that seems really useful we have a lot of that uh, squad mates with less than 40% health gain stealth. Uh, all enemies are inflicted with blind for 6 seconds, reducing their attack and skill range to one tile. That seems so good with making them enter melee range. Uh, your SP skills activate twice. I'll do it. Sounds good. This is this is kind of neat, man. Don't need to worry about any of that stuff. We're on to... Wh that wasn't the elite, was it? No, now we're fighting what is probably an elite. Uh, two random rare cards, seven instability tiles uh, in the squad base. All squad mates... All squad mates duration weaken effect during current battle. Oh my god, that seems terrible. Three items, but you can't gain SP. Annoying, but probably fine. One random normal plug-in. Acceleration is down by 50%, and all enemies get 50% more damage. That seems nuts. Some of these negative modifiers seem a little overtuned. I'm happy to get some, some books, though.
Okay, so this is impairment, which is a health debuff. If we move this here, move you here. How many Sawblade boys do we got? None. All enemies ahead. It feels like that's just going to kind of mess us up. No matter what. I oh, you can take off the items. Oh, you can combine this. Screw you. Power up by 30. So we do lose... Enhances power card stats. May or may not... Yeah, totally does uh, impact energy ball as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we can't gain SP anyway, so there's no point in moving to the stabilization tile. I'm hoping I move down one and they move down one. Best I can really hope for. If I move here, I feel like he's going to get cornered and we're going to have a problem. But we have the Explodey Boys. This is just bad all around, dude. This is just bad all around. Do we just... Let's do it. Let's start out, like, mad. That is so big. Okay, get ready. Healing up. Okay, apparently not in melee mode. Go for that. Okay, we need to stun you. Incoming pain, but there's actually nothing I can really do. All right. Because, like, we can't make them move, right? Like, I can make a move with charge card, I suppose, but I can't really make them move. I don't know if I... I think I wouldn't mind another taser, especially since we can, um... You can always take cards out of the deck. I'm going to remove one healing field. What have I done? What have I done here? What is that? I think there's something going on here. I think we got ourselves some kind of bug. Cause that taser gun is now just gone. And I can't I can't actually remove healing field from the deck. I think it might have something to do with the fact that she died earlier, but Yeah, because I can Yeah, that's what it is, because she's not here. Oh shoot, I can move everybody else's in and out, and I got rid of a taser, but clicking healing field didn't do anything. Shoot, that's annoying. Oh well. What are you going to do? Next. It's a demo. It's early on. It's, you know, there's going to be boobs. Armor plate item. That seems great. All recovery effects become 25% more effective. Drawing a recovery card has a 50% chance to reduce its cost by one. Yes. Especially since we have two of them. That seems great. Squad mates with less than 40% get stealth. It's like stun on the highest health enemy for four seconds. Enemies are blinded for eight seconds. Let's do the stun on the high health enemy. Okay. I'm out. I'm out of here. Recruit additional squad mates. Oh. Another gunner. You are in the... The boots group. I think that was the... It's what, the assault group or something? Who's tanky? Boom. I guess we have to go with you. I Like, I need... Uh, this feels very uh, astronarch.
Switch positions with a selected squad mate. User and target both gain block. Explosive. Smoke tile that covers a two tile radius. Uh, squad mates in that range gain dodge. 50% chance of ignoring attacks. Yeah, I think that's kind of what we have to go for for now since we just clearly need another front line, if anything. As much as I'd rather grab one of the other ones, probably. Another diverging path. Normal plugin, two spend items, one rare plugin. Two random legendary cards and a random combined item. I kind of like this, though. I actually, I genuinely kind of enjoyed it. Having the component parts to be a little bit more uh, variable and you get a normal plugin. This is not, I don't know that this is necessarily as bad as I thought. But let's go with this just because it's different. Uh, gunners get 20% more. Squad mates without nearby squad mates gain, uh, 20% of the max HP. I mean, I could 25%. Wait, what the hell? 20 to 25 to 50? That's a terrible upgrade rank. Gunner? I don't think I have a gunner. Wait, wait, hold on. No, wait, this was gunner or... There was Gunner, the Sharpshooter, and then there's something else, like Blaster or something. I don't know, I'll do it. I think you I think you're a gunner. Let me check. Yeah, it, it needs to be a little bit more obvious, right? But I'm glad we got that. That's a 20% boost there. Get a 3D printer, copy a chosen item, get two HP books, but you can't get SP during this battle. Uh, obtain a random plug-in, destroy a piece of gear, and your power goes down by 50. This isn't... Some of these net, like, negatives are just too annoying. At least build up to that, right? Like, don't start there. At least build up to it. Adaptive armor. Uh, additional HP of 750, 10 extra for every stage cleared up to 25 times. Well, I mean, that's not going to. I will have you be the tank, and then this guy will be like an off tank swapping after. Uh, stealth point. Oops. Put you there. Yeah, we're gonna want to get the saw blades out of the way. Uh, do we do the big the big blast move? I can't put another guy here. Like, it's just gonna be a problem. But if I have you here, are you gonna get hit? Maybe we run it like more like this. I don't mind that. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But now we have all of AJ's cards that we have to. I'm gonna say deal with. Okay. Protection. So everybody gains dodge now, which is helpful. We're not in melee stance. That card is useless. We need to get rid of it for now. Speaking of, let's get you stunned. Oh, shoot. Let's do a sw- Oh, no! Oh, shoot. That didn't even work. See, like, there's some really good cards I want to go and get to. I can't stun this guy. Yeah, let's, we'll swap. You got- You got defense out the wazoo. Oh my god. I'm, I'm going to get rid of a couple of these cards. Whoof. No! Wrong. 
Wrong, 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 wrong. Uh, hello? Uh, oh, we won. <laughs> Did my healer die? Did my healer die? I can't... I, she did, but I, I, I could not tell you why. But, like, we, we weren't drawing a lot of really important cards, and I can't clean them off, so I don't know. I don't want any of these cards. But I guess I'll grab this, and we can just always... Oh, no, we can't... She's the one we shouldn't take. The stand back is not bad. I, we're going to get rid of split. Uh, fast charge. I like that. Tough guy. I like that. I like that all the passives. I actually do like stand back in hindsight. Smoke grenade. I could take or leave. It's kind of expensive. We need five playable cards. Okay. I have no idea when she died. No freaking clue. Welcome back, Ketchup. All squad mates. Oh, hey, we just get a freebie. SP recovery up by 10% during the current battle. Attack speed up by 10%. Energy up. I feel like energy up is just like a good catch all because we can kind of convert it into almost anything we want. Okay, lots of bombs. There's some saw blade people, but I think it's maybe just fine. Why that is like that, I don't know. I can tell you it's a bug. Oops. That much I'm sure of. How that bug came to be, I could not tell you. All right, um, it's probably a little bit better this way. What's your uh, what's your ability? Bomb and it does do it does a stun as well. I'm I'm done with that. All right, we need to kill all these quite quickly. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're taking some damage, waiting. Good. Busy? You're still busy? No longer busy? You are way the hell in there. Okay, we got the choppa choppa. This is fine. Can't even get in there, dude. Block use card. Why? Why you block use card? Get a stun on there. Tell you what. Oh, I was going to say we swap. Don't even want to do the axe spin there. So you can just... I like that you can just cast that on, on himself and it gives him just a really big boost. Stun's good. Alright. That was weirdly easy. Sonic armor. Get a plug-in. Gain additional SP. It's so <laughs> easy for me. Recover damage. Yes. Damage into healing. Some life steal sounds great. Energy wave? I did not see a single time. What happened to that card? What, hap what happened to that card? I'll take it. Did I, I must have lost it in a trade. Maybe that's what equipment is. Equipment is actually like... A card? 
Uh, when the battle begins, inflict provoke on enemies within two tiles and inflict slow on enemies that basic attack. Uh, I am going to put this all on you and then like, we'll just use this guy as just a utility tool, especially since you can just swap and swap back. I feel like why not, right? That was not the elite, right? It was. But we got a boss at the end. We'll see. Oh, God. Gain two random two random enemies duration endurance effect during current battle. What? Uh, all enemy... Oh, squad mates movement speed and crit chance down. That's a little bit more manageable. Is it annoying? Sure. But they're all annoying. That's the secret cap. They're all annoying. Holy... I kind of want to bait them into it, but, like, I just don't know. There's some saw blade individuals. But if, I, if I'm here, then I don't get the good AoE. Only units on this tile get that benefit. I... She's going to move and it's going to ruin my life. Right? I hate having people lined up for the saw blades, but this is also like the prime spot for the big uh, AoE blast move. Or maybe like here. No. Here. We, we, we need some people lined up, I think, unfortunately. Alright. I don't love any of this, but we just got to go for it, man. Oh, no. Okay, three. Four. There we go. Whoo! That was a hell of a lot. Keep swapping there. Uh-oh. Running out of energy. Okay, so that's the, see that's the downside. The downside is we get like an absurd amount of a uh, penalty for a while after. Okay, hold on. Oh, good, 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 good. Like it does a lot of damage, and then we are in trouble for a little bit. Charge. It seems kind of expensive. User and squad mates within one tile get block and inflict provoke on enemies within three tile radius. I, I will say I do want another taser. I wanted it before, but it got I got rid of it accidentally, permanently somehow, without my uh, my knowledge as to how. <laughs> Get a rare plug in. I I hate that enemies can't gain SP is like the most usable one so frequently. Get a rare plug in, all attack speed. All attack speed is subtracted by 50% and accelerated energy. Oh my god. We get mana half as quick and our attack speed is half as much. I You can't do that. Like, the balance on some of these negatives are too high. Like, I don't know what to say, man. Some of them are just nuts. Mook. Read. 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 Read and don't die. Okay. I don't hate you being there. I kind of hate you being here because you're going to walk into the uh, pain, aren't you? This is where being slow actually could have been really, really useful. The thing is, your range is bad. You have a range of two. You have a range of four. Okay, so you are going to naturally get up in there. We just want them to be the ones that end up on this tile, and I'm unfortunately thinking it's not going to happen. Okay, good-ish.
Okay. These guys gotta go. So, so that's backwards too. Oh my god. Alright. He's going down. Hold on. Do it! Please! Huh? Dude! Please! For the love of God! Alright, well. I can't do anything here, man. They just, they jumped right into my back line and I don't have any way to, like, I can't move my units. That's absurd. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell, dude? For real? Like, and I couldn't cast my big AoE uh, attack move because it was going backwards. But I guess I should have just done it anyways against those guys, even though it was going to only hit two and put us in a deficit for a while. Either way, that was uh, that was wild. Very interesting game. Very neat idea. Uh, can we start with anyone we want now, theoretically? Oh, we can't get but buddy. Excuse me. Tau, Aegis, Nox. I'm uh I'm gonna say you should probably change the name of this one. Uh, there's some translation things that. <laughs> there's some translation things that I think you may not be privy to. Uh, buddy's fine though. Yeah, why not? Body text, title text. I mean, th these don't exist yet. These are not real characters in the demo yet. Yeah, they're just heroes that are gonna come out later after the demo but yeah there's a lot of like um there's a lot of polish uh that i feel like needs to be added here and there uh things need to be sp sped up to an extent i feel like you know i i feel like since you can't choose where so so those dogs i i inspected them before and it didn't say anything about them jumping to the back line but I guess that's just something you have to know about the game, right? It doesn't say it in, in their ability or anything, but you just have to know that they will jump to your back line. You have to put a tank behind things. That being said, it that wasn't even going to matter there. Uh, I feel like ketchup was largely dead weight for the most part, giving us cards that I didn't want to draw, and I couldn't remove them from my deck because of a bug. Uh, but there's, there's things that... All that being said, I think that the concept of this is cool, and I think it's, like, a nice format, and I think that, you know, like, the single-player auto-battler genre, it's absolutely ripe for, like, a great smash hit. Uh, is this it? Uh, you know, with a lot of, like, a lot of sanding down on the rough edges, it could be an amazing one. It really could be. Uh, but there, there is definitely some quality of life things here there that, that need to be... Uh, gandered upon, as well as obviously the translation stuff needing to be fixed up, um, and I would say probably some balance, some a balance pass on the negative modifiers because they seem a little bit too, like they're too rough all the time because it basically forces you to be like, all right, well I guess I'm just gonna do the, don't take, you know, don't gain energy one again because the other ones are absolutely just a guaranteed loss you everybody attacks half as much and you take twice as much damage you're gonna die like so i don't know there's a little bit of weirdness there uh so i'd say balance pass translation pass quality of life uh audio balance just like simple things like that hopefully they get looked at and get patched up for a full version and if they do i think this is gonna be a lot of fun to check out again but alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it for today. My name is Retromation. I cover any games every single day with an extra special theme, roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to, especially if you like deck builders, auto battlers, or auto battling deck builders, because I will cover every single one that comes out. That is for sure. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.